morning, everyone. It's Rhonda from Immortal Colors. We're going to do another vase on a canvas this morning. So let's get start with our paints. We have Bright Red by Apple Barrel. We have Pumpkin Orange by Apple Barrel. We have Bright Yellow by Apple Barrel. We have Black by Deco Art Americana Lamp. Gold Artist Loft Metallic Old Gold and Folk Art Metallic Pearl White. Okay, let's get to layering our cups. Our cup, let's see what we get. This is my actual third attempt at doing this color scheme. I just haven't got it to come out the way I want it to yet. So we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. And I have a feeling since I put the uh, white, pearl white beside the red, I hope it doesn't make me any pink. I wasn't very smart on that one. paints are mixed with Floetrol. With Apple Barrel, I don't usually have to add water. It's pretty thin consistency of paint. Here's the last of my gold. Let's put some metallic white and do some black because I'm not looking to create any green today. And then we'll do one more layer of colors and we should be good. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, so I need approximately five and a half to six ounces of paint. And this is a nine ounce cup, so I believe I'm where I need to be. Let's put a little bit more red in here because the person who making this for is favorite color is red. So we'll see how we do. Get this stuff out of the way here. So we can get our pour on. Looking for the cap, it's still attached. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do. We'll get some gloves on here and we're going to pour it out. Okay, here we go. Get some pink. We didn't want pink. Okay, we're going to let this drip for a few. I guess my canvas wasn't as um, level as I thought it was. Most of the paints on this side. Okay, we're 
gonna let this drip for a few and then we'll come back in and do the canvas. The yellow and the black made some green over here. I wasn't wanting that either, but that's okay. That's why it's called abstract art. All right, let's pop this off of here gently. I usually take my fingers and do the corners while they're messy. That way we're sure to get them corners good. All right. Let's uh, tilt this out and see what kind of composition we can get. I get in the habit of making sure I'm tilting towards the camera for you guys so you can see what's going on too. Get that to run a little quicker down there. Watch it a little bit. Again, let's give it a little help. Okay, and then let's bring it back this way. Just adding some wet paint. Wet paint flows good on wet paint, so it's just to help it move a little easier. Because it is definitely slow going. have to speed this process up through the video for you.
my balancing act there wasn't too good. Put it back that way a little bit. And I think we're pretty much done. Set it over here. Got a mess to clean up. I'll give this a little torch and I'll come back in and clean up my sides and give it a torch and we'll come back in for a close up. Let's do a final torching here. Pop these air bubbles. And I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here's what we got. Oh, the glare. The glare is terrible, I apologize. out of the glare. And then here's the vase. Definitely didn't come out what I was expecting, but I do like it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.